Last year at Arise Women's Conference, we launched a safe haven campaign in response to West Virginia's growing drug epidemic that is ravaging our state, specifically orphaning thousands of West Virginia's children. In just one year, we've been able to successfully launch all three parts of the Safe Haven strategy, rehabilitation, support, and prevention and awareness. Because of you, we've been able to launch our first and our second phases of a rehabilitation program for young moms battling with addiction. Safe Haven hosts lavish banquets for these women, and we also have weekly support classes. We mentor young women who are at risk and feel alone, and we connect pregnant moms with caring physicians in our community who can give them the proper prenatal care that they need to reduce injury to their neonates. Because of you, we've been able to show the love of Christ. We've done this by going to methadone clinics. We're not afraid to show up with donuts, hugs, and unconditional love. We're not afraid to get into the community and build trust. We are not afraid to share the love of Christ. Because of you, we have been able to launch our support initiative. Because of Safe Haven Foster Interest Meetings, dozens of families have said yes to giving a family to those children affected by the drug epidemic. Because of Safe Haven's 24-hour foster closet, free foster yard sale, and foster family support groups, more foster families know that they aren't alone. We link arms together, empowering one another, even working with local politicians and leaders to draft new legislation to fix our broken system. We provide support and equipment to our neonatology unit and we are just getting started. We are committed to helping save West Virginia's children. Because of Safe Haven, our youth awareness program has started making waves. The Not Us social media campaign is giving a voice to Generation Z through educational videos, telling pointed stories, and putting a face to these statistics because these kids are more than just a number. They are real West Virginians that are suffering. We are preparing for our first youth outcry on the steps of the Capitol and many youth rallies to come. We're believing for a day when billboards will be in every county and student-led curricula will be taught in every school. We are empowering Gen Z to be the generation to stop drug addiction in our state because enough is enough. We believe they will save West Virginia. Because of you, all of this has happened in just one year, but we are only getting started. There is more to do to ensure change. This year, we will expand all three parts of our Safe Haven campaign. The biggest need that we have is to purchase land for an inpatient holistic treatment facility for women and children. In this state-of-the-art facility, we will be able to provide trauma counseling from licensed Christian counselors, parenting classes, job skill training, and medical care from our partnering physicians. We will have 4D ultrasounds with surround sound so that these women can help connect to and fight for these babies. And when they finish our program, we will celebrate them with a baby shower in their honor. We would like to thank you for generously giving, serving, and praying for the continued success of the Safe Haven campaign as we fight for the state of West Virginia. Because of Safe Haven, I am now a licensed foster parent. Because of Safe Haven, we are fostering with hope. Because of Safe Haven, less children like me will be hurt by drug addiction. Safe Haven is making a difference. You are making a difference. We love these children, and they are our responsibility. We love West Virginia, and we're committed to its healing. We are Safe Haven. We are Safe Haven. We are Safe Haven. We are Safe Haven.